this is a warning from spirit not to get involved with this individual. This individual is bad news. They are bad news, Scorpio. No matter how much you love them, please be careful when going out. Please be careful, Scorpio. This person and this karmic that they were involved with, they were in some ish. They, they were doing some ish out here in the streets. And I wouldn't put it past them to do something, you know, if they were to see you out by yourself in a place where nobody else was around, I wouldn't... The Empress in Reverse, yeah. They don't, they don't want you... To, this... Whoever this is, they're coming towards you. They're making a love offer. But you see, the Empress is in Reverse. They don't want you to know the truth of the situation. They don't want you to know the truth of the situation, Scorpio. They are praying to God that you have not found out anything. About this third party stuff. It, like I said, it, it's different for everybody, but for some of you, it was sexual stuff that this, that this um, individual that, you know, I feel a very loose energy, so it's like they came in and then they ran uh, ran away from you, but it's like they were either doing sexual stuff on the side for money with this karmic, or they were doing stuff in regards to drugs, or for some of you, it could have been both. Look at this, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This is the Wheel, Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is why they took forever, because they were doing their shady stuff. And you see the Ten of Pentacles meeting up in, in different people's houses. Yeah, the house again, the four of wands, what do we have here? Yup, four of pentacles, this individual, I can't make it up, I'm just drawing the cards. Yeah, even spirit saying this is the truth. This individual has hid this stuff, you know, from the public eye. Only the people that were involved in this know the truth about this masculine. There it is, the devil. Yup, and spirit is saying this is all going to come to light. This is all going to come to light. That's dope. Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starseeds out here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your general read for July 2022. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. And if you wish to support the channel further, you can click the heart icon underneath this video, and whatever you leave with me, I'm truly grateful for. If you are interested in any of the decks that I use, you can check the description box. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Okay, let's see. We have Neptune. We have Tauros. And then we have number three. Hmm... There's an energy here of you guys pursuing your dreams, okay? Really going after your dreams. There's an energy here of adventure, okay? Because Neptune is a planet all about dreams, fantasies, and imagination. You have number three there, the Empress card. Then you have Tauros, the Hierophant card. I do see you taking a leap of faith. Whether that's in career, whether that's in your finances... Whether that's in a relationship. Hmm. Privileged lady in reverse. Community. It's like you guys are done. Okay, so this is what I'm saying July 2022. Message of concern. Hold on. Hold on. High honor. Poverty. Wealthy man. Very interesting. Sudden wealth. Coffin. Scorpio. This is a very heavy message. I'm just going to be honest. This message is very heavy. I do see you moving forward. For some of you, you're walking away from like your town where you grew up, where you lived. It's like you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving into bigger and better is what I'm getting here. 
but there's this energy here and i'm just gonna be honest there's someone that wants to come towards you and i feel like it's this wealthy man and they were involved with this privileged lady right the masculine the feminine it could be a same-sex couple for some of you okay just because it's a man and a woman doesn't mean that it's specifically a man and a woman woman for your situation right everybody's situation is different but there is an energy here of like someone it's like i feel like you were involved with this maybe not involved fully but i feel like this wealthy man or wealthy woman was talking to you this could be someone that has a lot of status social status or they appear that way but they're separating from this privileged lady. There's a message of concern here. It's coming out in reverse. High honor and poverty. Then you have death. And you also have the house. Despair and judication. What I see here. And look. I don't know how else I can put this. But... Neptune is a planet of fantasies, and then you have number three. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail. I'm just going to say th this privileged lady, okay, this man and woman, or this woman and man, woman, woman, man, man, whatever, whatever the situation, they were doing some shady stuff for money. They were doing some really shady stuff for money. But this, it seems to me like this privileged lady doesn't want to do this anymore. This feminine energy does not want to do this anymore. This this feels like, um, I don't even know if I can talk about this on this channel, like YouTube's restrictions, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, there's the fire truck leaving the firehouse and its alarm is going full blast. Yeah, for some of you, this was the situation. This person and this individual, this karmic that they were caught up in, they were doing some illegal stuff. That's what it's giving me. Because there, there's like despair and then there's dedication. Like people are having to go to court. People are having to go see a judge. There's a message of concern here in reverse. I feel like it's coming from this masculine. This could be your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever. It's somebody that goes to you is what I'm getting here. But it's like you're getting a message of concern. You don't really want to hear from this person, but they're they're reaching out to you. So let's get into it, because I feel like a lot happened behind the scenes. Ten of Wands. Yeah, Th this individual, Scorpio, they're holding on to a secret here. There's something here that they don't want you to know. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was something sexual. I knew it was something sexual. Knight of Wands is a very sexual energy. Um, that's someone that, you know, is in and out, okay? Oh my god, yeah. I was saying about the number three and Neptune being the planet of fantasies, I was saying threesomes. But you see how this man is giving these two people money? Do you get where I'm going with this? The number three, Neptune, the planet of fantasies. Okay, I don't know if I can say the word, but it starts with E, S, C, and ends with a T. How many letters? E, S six letters the word i don't know if i can say it on here but for some of you th these two individuals could have been running something like this they could have been running a business where they were they were taking advantage of young people you know taking advantage of young broke people in the community to basically ex extort them and this individual is holding on for dear life they they don't want you to find this out because once you find this out now, for some of you, it is drugs that they were dealing. Page of Wands. The Empress in Reverse, yeah. They don't, they don't want you... Th this... Whoever this is, they're coming towards you. They're making a love offer. But you see, the Empress is in Reverse. They don't want you to know the truth of the situation. They don't want you to know the truth of the situation, Scorpio. They are praying to God that you have not found out anything. About this third party stuff. 
it, like I said, it, it's different for everybody, but for some of you, it was sexual stuff that this, that this, um, individual that, you know, I feel a very loose energy. So it's like they came in and then they ran, uh, ran away from you, but it's like, they were either doing sexual stuff on the side for money with this karmic, or they were doing stuff in regards to drugs. Or for some of you, it could have been both. Look at this, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This is your person. I'm so sorry to be telling you this, but this is your person. This is who you were destined to be with in this lifetime. Yep, Six of Cups, the past life, they're coming in. Regardless of where you stand with this individual, Scorpio, I see this individual coming in. I'm wanting to talk to you. But that Empress in reverse, regardless of your gender, you're appearing as the Empress and the Queen of Cups. This individual is appearing as the King of Cups, Page of Wands. This individual does not want you to know the truth of the situation. There was some shady stuff being done behind the scenes. They're going to come in and they're going to say, let's have a... You, you, they're going to act brand new. That's what this is. They're going to act changed. They're going to act like... You know, they're, they're, you know, they're going to sell you the story. They're going to shape shift to what you want them to be. I'm hearing con artists. So this is someone that's going to sell you the dream, but there's a lot of secrets here. And if it isn't about, you know, if it wasn't illegal stuff that they were doing, it could even be they have like child support and they haven't been paying it because the six of pentacles. So... It's just a lot. It's a lot in this read. It's very heavy. Yeah, you see, five of swords. I knew it. This is this is um trying to get the one up on you. That's what this is. The wheel of fortune is here, but spirit is saying no. Spirit is saying no. This is going to come to the surface, so that Scorpio can see. And this message has come up like three or four times in your read, Scorpio. And, it's, and it keeps coming up. It's going to keep coming up until the Scorpio Collective, you know, puts boundaries with this individual. The, re, the, the, the situation, the same situation is playing out in these reads because a lot of you haven't put boundaries with this individual. Or a lot of you haven't seen. I think this is the most likely thing. A lot of you haven't seen anything to suspect from this individual. But uh, this individual is a shapeshifter. They know how to play the game. The Wheel, Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is why they took forever. Because they were doing their shady stuff. And you see the Ten of Pentacles meeting up in, in different people's houses. Yeah, the house again. The Four of Wands, what do we have here? Yup, Four of Pentacles. This individual, I can't make it up. I'm just drawing the cards. Yeah, even Spirit saying this is the truth. This individual has hid this stuff, you know, from the public eye. Only the people that were involved in this know the truth about this masculine. There it is, the devil. Yep, and Spirit is saying this is all going to come to light. This is all going to come to light. That's the only way there's going to be balance in this situation. But you see, this individual, Emperor, Ace of Swords, the devil, this individual is coming with half-truths. They're going to say that they're changed, that they're a better person, but they're not going to tell you the full story. Three of Cups. What else do we have, Spirit? Four of Swords. Oh, yeah. For a lot of you, this was a sexual thing that they were doing. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they do not want you to know about this. They don't want you to know anything about this. And Spirit is saying that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. This person could have been doing three sums for money. But there's also because that Page of Wands, that's a young energy. This person, especially if they're older, they could have been taking advantage of these, you know, these young, broke 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, right? And setting them up in certain situations. This is making me... Oh, this is just, this is really, this is just awful. The wheel. Eight of swords. Yeah, this individual doesn't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to see the truth because they want you to have this, 
they don't want the concept of them, how they appear to you. They don't want that to be broken. They want you to see them a certain way. But how they are portraying themselves to you is false. It's not real. This is someone that is very, this is someone that's very vengeful, very conniving. And I don't get a good energy from what they were doing. Please be careful when going out. Please be careful, Scorpio. This person and this karmic that they were involved with, they were in some ish. They, they were doing some ish out here in the streets. And I wouldn't put it past them to do something, you know, if they were to see you out by yourself in a place where nobody else was around, I wouldn't put it past them to do something to you. For some of you, it's that serious. Please do not go anywhere alone with this person. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This individual is doing a lot of stuff for money out here. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Six of Cups at the bottom. Again. So you guys have past life stuff, but I think that's all out of the window at this point. Yeah, the lovers. Some of you, this could be your twin flame, but you see Ten of Swords in Reverse. They don't want you to know that they did this stuff. Because they, for a lot of you, they feel like they're going to come in. They feel like they have a good chance. And that might not be the truth. You might be completely done with this person. But they're so egotistical. They're thinking, yeah, I have a shot with Scorpio. As long as they don't find this out, I'm good. Scorpio's going to take me back. For some of you, this person feels like you're desperate for them. And that's just the truth. You know, if this person kept disappearing and then coming back to you... It's because they had a group of individuals, uh, you know, a group of men or different women or even both. But it's like nobody was paying them attention. So they always went back to who they felt was most desperate. And for some of you, they felt that you were the most desperate. So that's why they would always come back to you. That's just how it works with these players. When they ghost and then they come back and then they ghost and then they come back. They're doing that because they need their ego to be fed. And... They go back to the person that they feel is most desperate. So if they were always ghosting you and then going back to you, they felt that you were the most desperate. That you had no sense of self-worth, no self-esteem. Page of Cups in Reverse. This individual does not want to apologize for anything. They're not ready to take accountability. Six of Wands, yeah. Yeah, no, this this is not okay. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This is someone that's money-driven, is what I'm seeing here. But they're praying and hoping that you guys have a brand new beginning this, this July. Yeah, but you see, this masculine energy, he, she, they, them, whoever they are, they have options. They have plenty of options. Yeah, Spurs saying yes. That's the song card. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Cups. They regret what they did. They're trying not to think about what they did, but they, they regret it. It's almost an energy of like, was it really worth it, all the stuff that I did? Because you saw Coffin, House... Despair, adjudication. At some point, this individual is going to have to go to court. Like, this came to an abrupt end. Somebody ratted them out. They got caught doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing with this karmic. This third party. It was either sexual, or it was drugs, or it was both. Or this individual was not paying child support. This individual could even, could even be coming to you for money. But they're not broke. They have money. They just, don't want, they just don't want to foot the bill for the child support. So they could be lying to you, saying that, you know, they need rent money, that they're going to end up homeless. But all the while, it's actually just to pay the child support. 
Hmm. Yeah, because for some of you, kids are involved. Some of you, you have children with this person. But if they were in and out, they were doing some shady SHIT. It wasn't just cheating on you. If they were in and out, it wasn't just cheating on you. They were doing some other SHIT that they really do not want you to know about. That Ten of Wands was there. They are holding on. The Four of Pentacles as well. They are holding on for dear life and are praying that you guys don't find out. What do we have here? Phoenix in reverse. Yeah, this individual does not want you to move on, so they're going to come in July. Basically trying to stop you. Yep. They feel like you are waiting on them. So this is why they feel confident. But you see at the bottom, they're a snake. They're going to play on your feelings here. This is a test from spirit. Have you learned the lesson, Scorpio? That's what this is. This is Saturn retrograde, and it's not easy. It's very, very hard lessons. Spirit is going to test you. Have you learned the lesson to not take this person back, to not trust them? Have you learned this lesson? Because if not, this person is going to play you again. Some of you, this person is bisexual, or they were having threesomes with the same sex, even though they're into the opposite sex, or... I don't even... Yeah, finances. They were doing everything for money here. They, they were doing all of this stuff with this karmic for money. Yep. You see, don't be surprised if this individual comes asking you for money. I was saying it. You have finances and you have boundaries. No one needs any of your money, Scorpio. If you want to give to a good cause, more power to you, right? Good for you. You know, you're blessed that you have enough to give to those in need, right? You're not struggling with this inflation, but this, this person, they don't need any money from you. You don't need to give them any money. Unless it's child support, unless there are children, that's different. You know your situation better than I do. But this person doesn't need a penny out of you. For some of you, this person is going to come in giving a sob story. You see the fly from the Illuminati just flew by. This person is going to come in giving you a sob story for some of you. They can't, they're, they're not going to accept that it's done. But this is done. Like, I don't see any way that this could recover. Yeah, evil eye. You are dealing with someone. Yeah, you see. This unfinished in reverse, it ended abruptly. It was a tower moment. It ended all of a sudden. Their, their charade, whatever they were doing, it ended all of a sudden. You see that hand, the, the hand of evil eye? Like, stop. Spirit, stop that SHIT. Yeah, now there's a legal issue. They have a legal issue. What does spirit have to say about this person? Celebration. Third party. Angel. Divinely guided. You are protected. Pay attention to signs and dreams. Ask for help from your angels. Your angels are protecting you. But if you put yourself involved with this individual, this is what it's going to be. If you involve yourself with this person, Scorpio, this is what it's going to be. They're going to try to change your mind about being a third party. For some of you, this person, and I'm just going to be honest, for some of you, this person may want you as a mistress. So, that's all I have to say. This is a warning from spirit not to get involved with this individual. This individual is bad news. They are bad news, Scorpio. No matter how much you love them, no matter how much you feel for them, no matter how much they pull on your energy, resist, resist, resist this person. Resist them. They are bad news. They are not to be trusted at this time. And again, please do not go anywhere alone with this individual. If any of this resonates, please don't go anywhere alone with this individual and be aware of your surroundings. So that's what I have for you. That is your read. 
wash out in July. Keep your wits about you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.